you know, I just... <laughs> I just signed up for a triathlon last night because I want to run one for my birthday. I'm going to be turning 40 this year, and I'm really excited. So I wanted to do something big that I've never done. So I signed up for a triathlon. The problem is I've never run one. Um, I've I've done a lot of races, but and I've done a couple bike races, but I've never done anything swimming-wise. I can't even do the crawl, okay? Like, I do the breaststroke. So I don't know. I, I say that because I'm like, now that I'm signed up for it, I have to... I have to do it, you know, so, so like, that's my mindset, like, just put myself in a position where I'm forced to learn it and do it really fast, but it's not necessarily the best thing for life, and I think that's the thing that's been hard for me, even with, you know, Nate and I's journey to change our entire life and beliefs and the way we do things, the way we think, um, it, it's been hard because what we had to do was rebuild a whole new foundation, you know, with what happened in our family and with growing up in a cult, like that, that was our foundation. So once that completely obliterated and was gone, it was like, well, shit, we have to build an entirely new foundation and it's not fast. It takes time, a lot of time. And it's hard. There's no easy way around it. There's never an easy way to build a good foundation. You have to be willing to put the time in and the blood and the sweat and to have enough guts to do it. And that's the thing about, you know, freedom for the taking. I'm so passionate about helping people to build the life they love. But here's the thing. Everyone needs to know there is no easy way to do it. There is no easy way to do it. You're going to have to buckle up and put on your boots and your big girl panties and do the shit. But what I do know is that it's worth it. It's worth every tear. It's worth every day that you wake up and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing and why did I do this? And I cannot tell you how many times I wanted to go back to my old life because it was just too hard and too painful. And I just kept doubting myself, kept doubting myself and doubting myself. And the same thing with like buying Zell, I kept doubting myself. Did I do the wrong thing? Did I make the wrong choice? Should I not? Like how much we doubt ourselves. But once, every time I would doubt myself, it was like coming a little closer to stepping into my power of like, no, I'm not going to turn back. I'm not going to revert. I'm not going to go back. I'm going to keep going forward, even though this is hard as shit. Because the thought of going back and the reality of going back is like, do I really want that? I don't. Hell no. Even though it feels easier right now, I don't want that. So I have to keep going forward. There has, I had to believe there's something better. And there was something better. And it's still, it's still a journey. I mean, life is a journey. It's going to be this constant. And I still doubt myself sometimes, honestly, but it's not as often. And I feel a lot stronger and I'm getting to the place where I can, where I feel like I'm able to empower other people now and say, Hey, you can do this. You can do this too. If you want it, you have to want it bad enough though, because man, is it hard as hell. Anyways. I know with Zell that it's going to be worth it. It's going to be so wonderful. And I'm grateful to have the opportunity to rebuild her foundation, to give her one that she deserves. And here's the thing, everybody. We all deserve a good foundation. Every one of us deserves a solid, slow, intentional, beautiful, strong foundation to build our lives on. If we're just rushing around, just like making do, you know, like it's, that's not, that's not your, your best. That's not your living to your fullest potential. Like hell no. I, I'm, I'm hit, I'm sitting here on, on hay bales. I'm looking at the pallets below me and I'm like, it's like building a house on pallets. You know, they, 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 a lot of them have broken boards and then they've got slats and you can fall down in between. Like, that's not what we deserve. We deserve concrete. 
And it takes a lot of work to prepare and pour and build a solid, smooth, concrete foundation. But you deserve it. I deserve it. Zell deserves it. Let's give it to ourselves. And does it take a long time? Yes, it does. But I'm telling you, I have ridden horses that have had a solid foundation on them and there is nothing like it. There is nothing like it. Okay, like I remember, and I'm gonna cry, damn it. I remember the last time I rode Shiloh. I took her for a ride out in my pasture and we rode all the way out to the second pasture. And it was this beautiful day. And I turned her around to head back toward the barn and I just closed my eyes and I just said, take me back Shiloh. And I trusted her. And I, of course I had these little fears like what if something jumps out of the pond and scares her, that her loud vehicle goes by or you know something else. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna trust my horse. I trust her. I've had her 25 years. I can trust she's gonna take me home safely. And she brought me all the way through both pastures, past the barn, up by the house, underneath of our trees, and then stopped in this beautiful spot, right in like my favorite spot by our picnic table, the trees. And I opened my eyes and it was just the best feeling ever. And it took a lot of years to get there with Shiloh. And it wasn't easy and I had a lot of tears. And a lot of times I was like, oh my God, this is taking forever and a lot of energy and time. But you know what? It was worth it. I mean, look what the kind of relationship I had that I built trust with her because of that. You know, I don't have that with Zell. The last time I rode her was that really bad fall when this leaf scared her, you know? So look at the difference between a really good foundation and a really shitty foundation. Like, we deserve the really good foundation. Let's be willing to put in the time and the, and the energy to have what we deserve. God, I'd rather spend my life moving towards something like that than to continually be in this space of of uncertainty and danger and you know um i think of it like riding zell where it, i felt really unsafe and scared like i don't want to live my life like that so i'd rather put the time in uh, anyways good grief <clears throat> um I love you guys. Thanks for showing up here today. Um, thanks you for valuing, valuing what I what I have to bring and being a part of this podcast. And I don't know. I feel really grateful. Um, a couple things. Don't forget to stop by Freedom for the Taking uh, Facebook page. I will. Uh, post some pictures of the horses in the rain today. <laughs> I will also post a picture of my wheelbarrow setup. And um, my theme for this week for my um, my post, like every week I try to have themes. And I decided my theme for this week is going to be rest. Since we got home from our trip and we're all trying to rest and rejuvenate. And just, it's really hard for me to rest. But it is so important. And... I'm learning. I'm a work in progress. And I'm, I'm getting better. I promise. Jennifer says that I'm improving. So <laughs> that's good. Um, if you guys could share this podcast with just one person, that would just help me out a ton. Just trying to get, spread the word. And um, I would love if everybody could. And maybe this isn't your favorite episode, but maybe you could find your favorite episode and share it with a friend and we can get word out about Coffee in the Crow. I would really, really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's just this whole thing's new for me with social media and trying to build my business with social media. So any help would be really greatly appreciated. And if you guys have um, input or suggestions or advice for um, for me, I would love to hear from you. You can always reach out to me on my uh, email, uh, freedomforthetaking at gmail.com. You can also check out my, uh, my blog, bike to type.com. I have some posts coming out. I had one come out 
yesterday, another one on Friday. Anyways, supposed to be biking into town tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see if the if that works out. I don't think it's gonna be raining, so that's good. Dale, you ready to say goodbye to everybody since Zell is not here to drink coffee? <laughs> He's rolling around in the hay. You my sweet boy. He's my buddy. He's my buddy. All right, everybody. Oh, also, if you want to go to YouTube, you can check out my um, the videos for my podcast. I have today videotaped. It's not as exciting. You can't see all the horses, but you do get to see the inside of my barn, the hay bale area, and me and Dayo on the hay bale. So I love you guys. Thanks for showing up. Thank you for being you. I hope you have a great week, and I hope you remember to rest this week since that's our theme. So rest, take care of yourself. You deserve it. I love you, and I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Mwah.